Today we're looking at repairing an Anglo-Saxon wooden bowl. This example is split, so we're going to repair it by stitching using a 3mm spoon auger and some organic twine. Now the stitching technique was widespread during the Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-Scandinavian and medieval periods in England. That's according to Morris. And I've added a bibliography at the end of this video so you can go to the exact uh, works that, sh uh, that has been done. So the technique is, we're going to drill a series of holes either side of the crack and stitch it together. Right, we've drilled our Anglo-Saxon bowl either side as you can see, two sets of holes. We've also put a slight bevel on both sides, so when they fit together it forms a little V-notch. And we're going to need that as a seat for a piece of twine we're going to fit in that groove to act as a secondary seal. Cut our piece of twine and we will start to stitch. So we'll start at the one end place a piece of twine through there and tie it up. Nice tight knot. Now we can start to stitch. be quite loose at first just so you get the stitching in and then I'm going to tighten it up later might need to wet the end of the thread as we work our way through And as you can see, starting to pull it together. And here we have the finished bowl. We've tied off the ends. You just need sealing with a little bit of beeswax, and then it's as good as new. And you're wondering, well, why repair a wooden bowl? Because they're quite cheap items, even now. Uh, but it could be an itinerant trade, so you may not see the bowl maker for eight to ten months. So you'd have to keep repairing your bowls. The Anglo-Saxon ball repair.